Have you ever thought to yourself, hmm, can I take one of the most obnoxious best of one decks in the meta and make it more obnoxious? Well, I have, and it looks something like this. Not scary at all. Not for Jetmere. Gleeful Demolition. It's going to gain him a lot of life. It's not going to be good enough, though. This is exactly why this is good. Because, see, if I just had, like, a Novice Inspector Immodane's Recruiter here, which is what any other Boros deck would have, then we wouldn't be able to... Like, we'd be able to profitably attack into their board, but we wouldn't be able to win. But thanks to Jetmere, we are literally going to be able to just absolutely crush them. Like, look at that. Vigilance, Trample, plus two, plus O, oh, plus the plus one, plus zero from the Recruiter. Like, ridiculous. Nothing they can do about it. Jetmere is the secret tech. That's right, today on Arena we are playing Jetmere Convoke. It is basically Boros Convoke, but more obnoxious. If you thought that was possible, it is. Uh, we are taking the deck a slight shift, a little bit higher mana curve uh, than the original Boros Convoke list, just to make us a little bit more resilient to temporary lockdown, because that's obviously become very popular because of Boros Convoke. But the most fun reason is because Jet Mirror Nexus of Rebels lets us crush the mirror match. Because sometimes you end up in these mirror matches where you both have really strong starts, but you both are just really evenly on par because the deck is very consistent. And Jet Mirror being able to give us plus one, plus zero oh in Vigilance, plus one, two, plus zero oh in Trample, and then sometimes with things like a Nimpa Call Out and multiple Gleeful Demolitions, we even get the Double Strike. It's amazing. And then, I'm not going to lie, I put Jetmere, Ginny Fade, Jetmere second in, kind of as a little bit of, of a, a win more meme, just because, you know, if you got Jetmere, you got to have Jetmere second, right? Uh, and then, of course, Aneem Bacall is one of my pet cards. I just love Aneem Bacall so much, and she just makes Jetmere so much better because curving, you know, turn one Inspector into turn two Enforcements or Gleeful Demolition into turn three Aneem Pakal into turn four Jetmere Nexus of Rebels we can have double strike on turn four with Jetmere down, and it's just great. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the games. Here he is, or her, Angel Gale. There they are. Bunch of gleeful demolitions and nothing to do with them. We'll try it. Um, I'm gonna put Evangelist back. Play the Farm Land tap. Restless originally for the opponent. We'll play Razor Bridge Thicket. Get Dawn with Inspector down. We're not Boros at all. Not even close. Restless Bivouac for the opponent. We will play a Nima Call. Get in. See if our Nipa call lives through the turn. If she does, Judy Faye is gonna start rocking the house. Edge wall in on white. What are they playing? Breakout. Sanguine Evangelist. All right. Well, Judy Fay. Here, doggy. Put the opponent down to seven. If they don't have a board wipe, they are in a lot of trouble. Ruby Daring Cracker. Poison Dark Frog. Yeah, it's not going to do it. More Leader Skull. More doggies. Oh, come on. Let us make all the doggies. 
Uh, I am ready, Momo. Let's see what you are playing, Momo. We get to go first. Not the most exciting hand, but we'll keep it. The Copper Light Gorge down. Buy Glass Iron for the opponent. Play Battlefield Forward. Plan on reinforcing at the end of their turn. Ninjas, apparently. Blue Circuit Hacker. We draw a card. We play their Siren. We'll play our reinforcements. They get another map token. War Leader's Call. Well, it lets us attack over their Spyglass Iron, so we'll do it. And it makes the Gleeful Demolition a lot better if we find an Epicure or an Inspector. Ginger Brute for the opponent. Probably going to get some more ninja action here. Prosperous Thief. When it makes a treasure, draws a card, replays the Ginger Brute. Or they don't. Oh, sweet, we did it. All right, Epicure. Pinya. Lethal Demolition. Do they have a counter spell? Okay. So the only thing I, they could have is spell pierce, but we can pay for that. So take them for three. Knight errant. Take them again. They fading hope one of our tokens. That's fine. Keep on top. Put them down to ten. We will take. Novice Inspector and the Nipa Call. And Jetmere should set us. We should just win with Jetmere this turn. Plus two, plus I would trample is really good. Uncus Retrofitter doesn't really help them too much. Fading Hope, sure. Annoying, but it doesn't stop them from losing. We'll just take the four. They don't know about the jet mirror. Ping them for one. Get in for a lot. <laughs> Just a bit. Jet mirror breaking board stalls. Hey, thanks for sticking around this far. I really appreciate it. If you could take a quick moment, though, to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Oh. <sighs> We found someone. Spoiled boy. All right, let's spoil their day. We get to go first. This is slow, but it's to be worse. Mostly just the lands. Play the sun down past half. Swamp for the opponent. Very dream thief. Play Battlefield Forge, play Novice Inspector, fast turn. Point of attacks. Nothing. Alright, well then we will play Ginny Fay. There is a stick, so the opponent has removal. So she's not living. Bitter Triumph. They discard a swamp. It's unfortunate. We'll get in for one. Freaking Flesh Gorger. Well, that was, a, that was a good draw. Lethal Demolition. Gateway Express. Kill the Flesh Gorger. Yes, we will pay the free life. 
Let's get in there for one. The recruiter follow up should be pretty good. Shieldred is annoying. I'm gonna make the two knights. Get in there for four. And if we draw an untapped land, we can double recruiter next turn, which is pretty sweet. Another flash forger, that definitely throws the math off a little bit. Oh, get in with the recruiter. Still a lot of damage. And they lose their flash forger. So opponent's at 10. Goes up to 12. We're at nine though, so reach for the schism for the opponent. Does that do it? Reinforcements and recruiter, I think that does it. GG mono black. No, not quite. No, yeah, it's exact, exactly for you. I can math, I swear. <laughs> YSK. All right. Let's see what you are up to. We get to go first. Terrible hand. Not much better, but we'll try it. Put back a night errant. Playing inspector. Da -da 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 -da. Inspector novice. Restless fence for the opponent. We will play a Moldaren Epicure. Get in for one. Pass the turn. Takanuma and a charming scoundrel for the opponent. They make a treasure. And play a Goblin Blast Runner. Interesting choice. Uh, we will Knight Errant of Eos. Find a Resolute Reinforcements and a Folder and Epic here. It's pretty good. Mishra's Research Desk. So... Gives their blast runer plus two plus oh and menace. They find a land. They get in for three. Fine with us. We'll play Murex. Play Resolute Reinforcements. Play Case of the Gateway. Remove their blocker. Get in for six. Solve the case. Severed on the case. Yeah, they will scoop. <laughs> Our opponent has joined us for a wonderful and delightful match. GBXD. Opponent goes first, but we've got a good hand, so I will keep. We just need to find a land. Preferably one with green in it. More mono red going first. Hey, look, a green land. Play Novice Inspector. Phoenix pick for the opponent. Comes in with a counter. Thankfully, they don't have any more mana, though. So Now, the dream here... I think we play Demolition over reinforcements that gives us more bodies etching of kumano flips over case of the crimson pulse well i mean they're doing slow stuff right now so 
I won't complain about that. We'll play Copper Line Gorge. And Ginny Fay. No tax. Monastery is supposed to be here for the opponent. Let's see if they can empty their hand. Opponent gets in with the Swift Spear and not the Edging. I'll risk a block here. See what happens. They do have a Monstrous Rage. I'm surprised they didn't just... Uh, I guess they didn't attack with the Edging because if I block with Ginny Fey, they lose it. But I would think they would want to get Ginny Fey off the battlefield, right? So let's play Jetmir. Because everything vigilance. This is mighty nice, if I do say so myself. Get in. We're at seven, so we gotta be careful. Thankfully, all of this having vigilance is quite nice. <clears throat> oh, it's just gonna take it all. They play with fire our face. Puts us down to five. They scry one of the bottoms, so that's good. We just need them not to have a lightning strike in hand, I guess. Mono red on the play is so brutal no matter what you're playing. Zeldon. Zeldon can help them find a lightning strike, unfortunately. So block like this block like this block like this we take two and what do they find not lightning strike i'll take it let me play the code breaker Uh, how does this work? So, yeah, that works. So I take one, but they're out of mana, so we can't take the damage. We go up to five creatures. We make a 2-2 two -two with haste, and then Sokinzan for two, thanks to the legendary creatures. We make two more 2-2s two with haste, and trample. Nice! Look at that. I'm ready. It's Hugger. You know, Jetmere's a Hugger too. Look at him, look at him, big, big wide open arms. Uh, this hand is too slow though. So we're gonna have to let Jetmere take a break. This is a fantastic hand. Um, I think we'll put Recruiter back because we'll be able to probably find another one or a similar type of spell. Cabaretti Courtyard, so looks like our fun new lands deck. We should be able to outrun them though. Knight Errant, Anim Paul. We'll go ahead and play War Leader's Call this turn. Shigeki for the opponent. Play War Leader's Call, get in for like a lot. Opponent's gonna take 11, go down to 9. And then the Neem Call should clean it up. Easy peasy. Deck is too fast with that opening. The, the one drop into Gleeful Knight Errant opening, just too good. Yeah, they scoop it up. Not a lot you can do about that. Don't you want some of this old money? Yama! Alright, Yama. This hand is far too slow. Opponent is taking their time deciding whether they're going to keep or not. Ooh, a mulligan. This is much better. 
Um, as much as I don't want to, we gotta put Mr. Catboy back. Because we only have two lands. Deserted beach for the opponent. Alright, so probably control. Unfortunately, this is definitely a hand that gets absolutely crushed by a uh, temporary lockdown, so. Looks like they're going to counter this. Or not. If they have temporary lockdown, then the, the lockdown would be better. They play fair. Oh, might be might be flash instead, actually. Are you really gonna trade your fairy mastermind for my 1-1? One -one? If it's Flash, they're a tempo deck, and that was definitely not a good use of their turn. I'm gonna play Copperline Gorge. Get in for three. They take three. We'll pass. I'm gonna flash this in while they have no mana open. They're probably going to gain two and scry two. They keep one on top, one on the bottom. They get in for three. Nope, never mind. War leaders call. Well, I think the correct play here is case. They have make disappear we can pay for it if they have no more lies we can't do anything about that they do not so we'll kill kutzel's flanker or kutzel's flanker get in for five they flash in doorkeeper thrall block one of our creatures we still get the case solved that does shut off our war leaders call triggers though Same thing though, if they have, uh, yep, no counters. And doorkeeper Thrall is no longer a good blocker. String loaded saw blades, but their own doorkeeper Thrall shuts it off. Oops. <laughs> a little bit of a nombo there. <laughs> All right, time to introduce our friend Witch to the cat demon boss himself. Hey, there he is. Uh, this is not a horrible hand. We do need to find some green. Conan goes first. I've been on the draw way too much today. Play a novice inspector. It's getting play with fired. Planes for the opponent. We can hit our lands, we'll be fine. There we go, we even found a green one. Uh, so we'll play the Copper Line Gorge, play another Novice Inspector. Mm, that's getting killed too. Okay. Is this some kind of Boros Burn deck? They went first, so if they're playing Convoke, yeah, it looks like it's some kind of burn list. Alright, well... What are the odds that they have more Lightning Helix? It's probably pretty good, right? We gotta take a risk sometime. Looks like they are going to kill Jenny Fay. Well, never mind. Virtue of Courage. Well, that's pretty good for us. Uh, so then we will Voldaren Epicure. Make a 2-2 two -two with haste. Case of the Gateway Express. Uh, kill the Chandra. So they can't keep getting free stuff with that. And that way, next turn, we can trigger the case. They're probably wanting to kill. Yeah, now they're like, no, we gotta kill. 
Gotta kill that. Uh, Copper Line Gorge. Uh, let's go ahead and convoke the Knight Errant. Novice Inspector. Heart Flame Duelist. Three damage to our face. They get to draw three. More virtues. They just play a Heart Flame Duelist. That's fine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and play War Leader's Call. Novice Inspector. Ping them for one. And then next turn we'll get Jetmir down. Now this is going to start giving their burn lifelink, but in the festivities, it doesn't lightning strike. So they get to look at three more. Land, land, sacred fire. So now they have to choose between killing us or hitting a creature here. They're back up to 19, which is a pain, but... If they don't kill a creature, Jetmir will be quite helpful here. A Sacred Fire of Faith. Look at two more cards. Another Sacred Fire and a land. Do they have... They can play a land, so they can Sacred Fire us one more time. This time they're going to kill a creature, it looks like. They kill our kitty. No! Back at the 26. Jeez. Alright. Well, that's Jetmir. Everything has Vigilance. They just take it all. Confident that they are going to kill us this turn, I guess. So they must have a good card in their hand. Land. Well, that's definitely not going to kill us. They get to look at two. And a lightning strike. That's really good for them. Puts us down to two and puts them back up to 17, but we do get to draw. And if we find the right card, we can just kill them. Okay, the lightning strike our inspector. Probably the right call. Okay, we draw land. Another jet mirror does not help. Let's play the land. Let's draw again. Case of the Gateway Express is definitely good enough. Kill that. Get in for a bunch. GG. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? It's because I'm playing Boros Convoke, isn't it? Except it's not Boros Convoke. It's Jetmir Convoke. It just looks like Boros Convoke. Um, We get to go first. I'll keep. Our mana's a little slow. But that's okay. The sacrifices we make for adding a color. Oh, there we go. We found some life. Not that we're going to use it this turn. The gleeful demolition would be sweet here, but okay. So Baird looks like we're playing another Boros Convoke list. Sanguine Evangelist. Well, I think I'm going to put the pressure down. They want to kill one of our dudes. Gotta gotta grow the Aniba call. Most other Boros Convoke lists are not running a lot of removal, and the removal they are running is like Case of the Gateway, and right now they don't have enough creatures to kill my Aniba call, so. They do not have red for War Leader's call right now, since the cavern only tapped four creatures. The opponent is having Oh, they're playing an Aniba call too! Well, I'm going to block their Baird. Oh, we're winning this race. 
Hands down. Novice Inspector. Case of the Gateway Express on their Nympha call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're back with the post game wrap. So, Jetmere Convoke. Is it better than regular Boros Convoke? Probably not. Is it more fun? Absolutely. And it's definitely really good against Boros Convoke. So if you're running into a whole lot of Boros Convoke on the ladder, maybe you switch to this version of the, of the deck list. Because as you can see here, we've got a nice 64% win rate against Boros Convoke. Overall, I've played like 140, 150 matches with the deck at a 55% win rate. So it's definitely respectable. Um, I will admit that during this recording, I was just getting smacked around by mono red on the play, but the deck is definitely good. I just feel like I, I probably had uh, quite some negative leaning luck with mono red. Mono red, still the real menace of the ladder, even more than Boros Convoke. So with that, the deck was a lot of fun. Uh, if you have a couple of extra jet mirrors laying around, uh, Ginny Fey is probably not necessary in the deck. It's just a pet card of mine. I've always loved Ginny Fey. And there are definitely some instances where you can do some cool stuff with her and Gleeful Demolition. Uh, so if you want the deck to be a little more competitive, I would probably replace the two Ginny Fays with uh, another case of the Gateway Express and another Sanguine Evangelist would be my suggestion. But Jetmere is actually very good at breaking board stalls uh, in mirror matches. This is a fun deck more than it is a hyper competitive deck. So... If you like having fun and you like beating other Boros Convoke decks, give this a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one.